So this is my Baofeng UV82 HP. Um, I haven't upgraded this uh, Nagoya NA71 uh, rubber duck antenna, upgraded from what came stock with it. But so I'm going to be making a jungle antenna. There's a uh, simplex net on the 2 meter calling frequency that uh, happens every week here in Anchorage that I can't quite uh, access, but we'll see if that changes with the new antenna. It's basically a simple quarter wave dipole antenna. Um, it has a ground plane and then a single uh, straight line radiating element. Um, so to start out, just the one calculation we have to do for this is figure out the length. So I'm using um, basically the standard 2 meter calling frequency. Um, so that's the frequency I want to optimize this antenna for. And there's the formula where you just divide, do 234 divided by the frequency you want. And that gives you your length in feet multiply it by 12 inches to get inches and I got basically 19.2 inches. Um, so to start out I'm using this simple 18 gauge wire bought at AutoZone, this uh, auto wire, and I'm going to cut um, four 19.2 inch lengths. Um, I cut the four lengths there, I actually cut them to 20 inches just to leave a little room to help me tie them off. Um, but so the next thing we need to do is we're going to get um, three sticks of the same length. So three 19.2 inch sticks. I'm going to go outside and just grab some sticks off a bush and then cut them up. And we're going to use the little string right here and tie the ends and make a triangle. So I've got my three sticks that I found in my yard. Um, so I'm going to cut each of these to 19.2 inches and then join them together. Now I'm going to tie them together just using some uh, small square knots here. So now I've attached uh, the three wires to the three ends as you can see like this. Um, I would recommend cutting these wires a little bit longer so you can actually tie knots. Um, and so now we need to connect this top end where these three wires come together to an insulator. So you could use anything plastic. Um, if you have like a button, for instance, from pants, or I have these compostable wooden spoons or just like a regular plastic throwaway spoon and I drilled a hole through and I'm going to route these through and tie a knot uh, so it's hanging right here. I'll show you in a second. So here I've got the three wires joined and uh, through the loop. Uh, you could attach some super glue if you want or however you want to hold it in place. And now I'm going to attach the radiating element. So I'm going to take this last piece of wire, um, strip the ends, um, and then route it through here and then to another insulator. So this is basically it. So I've got the ground plane with the three spreader sticks, the three uh, legs of the ground plane, an insulator, my radiating wire, and then another insulator. And then what I'll do is I'll take the 550 cord, take just the guts out, and put it through here. And that's how you can suspend it. So you put the 550 cord through here, or throw it over a tree, then route it through here, and then pull it up. Um, the last thing we need to do is use coax to connect this to our radio. Um, so I don't have coax right now, so I'm gonna try it with just more 18 gauge wire first. Um, but basically we're gonna get two wires. One's gonna connect to the bottom of the radiating element and the other is gonna connect to the top of it. And um, this end at the bottom here, it's gonna touch, we wanna ground it to the radio, so we're gonna put it um, in the back where the battery clamps in. And then this one we're gonna put into the uh, antenna adapter. So I don't have any large trees in my yard, so I actually have this mounted to uh, a hook that I would hang a bird feeder on. And so I don't have coax, so I took more of this 18 gauge wire and I attached one long wire to uh, the bottom of the radiating element right here and the other wire to the top. And so I'm running these wires inside. Um, we're going to call this one at the bottom the negative. Um, so I'm going to run them to the radio. and. So this, uh, this is my Baofeng, so it's got the, it's called an SMA adapter. So the outside of this ring is where we'll attach that negative, and then that center pin is where we'll attach the positive. And so we're just going to do a really uh, jerry-rig setup right now and just hold them on, and I'll show you how to do a better setup later. But let's just see if we can hear anything. I'm going to set it to scan. Scanning begins. And let's see. Negative to the outside, and then positive to here. See if we hear anything. It's 
Let's raise the volume a little bit, sorry. So no, that's kind of rough. It's kind of hard for me to show you and hold the camera, but I can assure you, so I was listening to a conversation and I had my uh, Nagoya whip in and then I switched it over to this and it was actually getting clearer signal with this. Uh, so the real test is going to be at the Simplex net later this week and we'll see if it does any better. Here are the adapters I ended up getting so I didn't have to hold the wires. Oh, let me turn that off real quick. Um, so we've got um, this banana to uh, BNC adapter and that I found on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description and then a BNC to SMA adapter. So obviously more adapters are not really uh, the best but this works and I don't have to hold the wires so pretty cool. So I'm going to test the SWR, the standing wave ratios of both my rubber duck antenna and the jungle antenna and we'll see what we get. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is just on the frequency that I want to test uh, that I designed the, uh, um, the jungle antenna for I'm just going to announce. Any station this net, this is Kilo Lima 5 India Foxtrot. I'm going to be doing some antenna SWR testing. Please apologize for the white noise. And I already listened to the net, no one was talking on it. This is my uh, cheap SWR meter. Um, you can see the back has an antenna and transmit side. I had to get hook those up with some uh, SMA adapters because these are the uh, PL259 connectors. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it set. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's on the uh, forward mode. Turn it all the way clockwise, so all the way off. I'm going to hold the transmit button and I'm going to rotate this knob until it's just at the set mark and then hit the ref. And there we go. So we've got an SWR. Hopefully you guys can see that. It was about two and a half to three. And so now we're going to do the same thing one more time. I've got my uh, banana cobra head adapter um, wired up to the jungle antenna and into the SWR meter uh, so let's try this again hopefully you guys can see so um, up all the way off transmit put this up to set flip that off and ooh it's like three and a half so SWR is even worse with this which is not surprising given that I'm um, using this 18 gauge wire and not um, properly like matched impedance wire um, so pretty bad. The real advantage with this antenna is not that it has a better SWR, but that you can raise it pretty high and get a good um, vantage point since it's omnidirectional.